Hello, 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 beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your daily reading. Today is Tuesday. It is February the 9th. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Let's hop in, my loves. Let it be great, of course. Sending you all lots of love, light, healing energy, and hell of abundance. Let's hop in, my loves, and let's see what's going on with you all. As a collective, we have Be Yourself and Flower Power. So, maybe you guys are needing to um, treat yourself. Buy yourself some flowers. Flowers do increase your personal healing power, and it's telling you to be yourself. All right? You guys know I'm loving the little messages um, on these cards. So, let's pull a couple messages, and let's see what Spirit has to say. And then we will hop into the reading. Let's see what's going on. Spirit Universe. Messages for the collective for today, February the 9th. What messages do you have for the collective for today, February the 9th? Let's see, Spirit Universe. Messages for the collective. Collective messages. All right, we have spring. Your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. Love this because the flower power card that just came out. And I was saying how you guys should treat yourself, get yourself some flowers. Every Sunday, I buy myself white roses. I love white roses. They are beautiful. Um, I just love it. It just shifts and changes my energy every time. Um, so maybe that's something you guys may want to do, like, you know, as part of your self-care or self-love, you know, stuff like that. Um, but spring. Your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. So loving this because we are going into the spring very soon. So a lot of things are about to start manifesting for you guys during the springtime. So that looks beautiful. And then we have business venture. Trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. So for some of you guys, something is going to take off in the springtime when it comes to your business. Or you guys are going to start a business around the springtime. Or you guys are maybe putting plans together. Maybe, you know, thinking of ideas. Coming up with like, you know, some business ideas. Or maybe you guys already know what it is you want to do. But it may take a little bit of time. Spring is around the corner. Let's see. Let's pull another message. And then we'll hop into the love reading. We have autumn. So autumn came out the other day. Let's see. In the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvest of abundance. So looking at this, this has something to do definitely with a business or some type of business idea or business plan or starting a business or thinking about going into business with someone. For some of you, because we have autumn and it's telling me that around the autumn time, which is like fall, autumn, fall, they're around the same time. You manifested something or you put some type of ideas together. And they're going to start manifesting and coming to fruition in the spring. On the autumn card, when it says, you reap wonderful harvest of abundance, it's telling me whatever seed you planted, you're going to reap that harvest of abundance in the spring when it comes to some type of business idea, plan, partnership, something like that. For um, others of you, this is like a huge raise or promotion it's going to be like, this is like going to be like grand for some of you guys. Meaning like, you guys are about to be on top, okay? For some of you guys, you're, gonna, you're finally going to be on the 25th floor, finally going to have that high position and, you know, doing the things that you want to do. Something major is manifesting for you guys um, within a business or within work, okay? So let's see what the overall energy is going to be and then we'll hop into the reading. Wow, look, new career. <laughs> And it says, your work focus is shifting in a positive, new, and successful direction. What did I just tell you guys? Can't make that shit up. And then we're in the winter season. The answer to your prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter months. So you guys have been putting a lot of plans in action. And you guys have been thinking and, you know, um, putting a lot of work into this. So it's definitely manifesting, guys. Loving it. New career. I don't, for some of you guys, I don't feel like it's going to be a new career. I feel like it's going to be a huge change within your career. For others, it could be a new career, but this is going to be big. It's going to be major. So, yay. I love it. Let's hop into the reading, guys. Let's see what's going on with you all as a collective. 
Spirit Universe messages for the collective for today, February the 9th. Playing on with the collective today, February the 9th. Let's cut into the middle of the deck. Let's see what's going on with finances. We have the Nine of Pentacles, so that looks good. We have the Nine of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, finances are looking bomb. Money is coming in. Finances are looking good, and it definitely matches the spirit messages we got. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Under that, we have Temperance, and we have the Queen of Swords. Cutting out the bullshit. Some of you guys are cutting out. So it's like some of you guys are just cutting out what no longer serves you. You're walking away. You're detaching. You're releasing. You're letting go, freeing yourself from something that you could have been tied to emotionally or with eight of cups. If this is in your current job, you're finally going to just like walk away. You're like, you know what? Cut the bullshit. It's time for me to leave. It's time for me to be done. I'm ready to go towards bigger and better things. And you guys have been patient. Things have been manifesting. And we have it with the ten of pentacles. Okay? So, loving the energy with finances and career. I'm just going to leave it there. Um, let's hop into the love portion. Let's see what's going on with you guys in love. love. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to take a phone call. So let's hop in my love. Let's see what's going on with you all in love for today, February the 9th. Let's see what's going on with the collective for today, February the 9th. This was trying to come out in reverse. I'm not going to take it, though. Ooh, the Magician in reverse, King of Pentacles in reverse, and the Knight of Cups. Somebody trying to be slick. Ooh-wee. Someone's trying to come back around and be slick. It's like the Knight of Cups, they're trying to like be romantic and nice and sweep you off your feet. But they got something up their sleeve or it's just telling me like, don't fall for the... There's some manipulation here or they're trying to get their way or they're trying to convince you or this is something that's not going to last long with this Knight of Cups. Like they're going to come in and be nice and charming and romantic, but we have this Seven of Swords here. There's some lies behind this. There's some deceit. They're trying to get away with something. This is emotional and mental manipulation. All right. Um, but let's see what's going on. Yeah, look what happened at the, I said, look what happened. Look what flipped over, the Three of Swords with the Seven of Swords and Wheel of Fortune. So there's a shift coming in. You guys are shifting out of this heartbreak. You guys are coming out of this heartbreak, this pain with the Wheel of Fortune here. But then the Seven of Swords is here with the Knight of Cups. Again, his ass keeps fucking popping up with the Magician in Reverse. So this is telling me like someone that like hurt you, that deceived you, okay? That lie that she, they did something to you. They're trying to come back in and you are like, your energy is like shifting. You're coming out of the heartbreak and pain. But as you're coming out of it, they're coming towards you or they're trying to at least. So let's see what this is about. Let's see what this is about. What is this about, spirit? Messages for the collective in love. We have the High Priestess. Use your intuition, guys. Please use your intuition at this time. The High Priestess is there. The High Priestess is about you guys being very intuitive. You kind of already know what's going on. I feel like you can see this coming with the High Priestess. Some of you guys could be readers or maybe got a reading and they could have told you like this person was coming towards you or coming back or there was going to be some type of reconciliation. Or um, this person could be coming back. But I feel like whatever you may think is happening with this within this reconciliation or like you guys come back together, it just may not be. Eight of Swords or Inverse. So they're coming, they are coming back around. Six of Wands, you have Temperance or Inverse, you have the Four of Swords. Some of you guys know like this is going to hold you back. You know it's going to hold you back. And you know that it's not for your best and highest good. And I feel like that's why the high priestess is here. And with the eight of swords in reverse, I feel as if you guys just kind of like got this person off your mind. Or you just came out of a dark place. Like I said, we saw that three of swords. And that was a fortune coming out of some type of heartbreak. 
but your intuition is telling you something okay your intuition is trying to tell you something or like you know something you sent something something's going on and then those cards we had didn't look so cute either so i don't know let's see we have the high priestess here some of you guys also could have got like a reading or listened to a reading and you may not like the outcome or i'm not gonna say like you don't like the outcome it's like they could have told you something that you didn't want to hear that's true and you're going to see the truth and then that's when, you're, that's when that shift is going to come in and you're going to just let it go okay so what i mean is that you could have like got a reading or heard a reading and look how can i help you see some of you guys got a reading or listened to a reading or went to someone and they told you about an outcome and you may not have been happy with the outcome or you could have been like, oh, like, it's like you believe what they said, but you didn't want to believe it. You know, like, you're just like, I don't want to believe this is true. But we have, how can I help you? And something's going to happen or whatever they may have told you is going to happen or it's like, it's going to play out or it's playing out now. But whoever this person is, because I feel as if you guys were like, no, like, they're going to come back. It's going to be like this. It's going to be this and that. So let's see. How can I help you? Because I feel like your higher self is trying to tell you something. Or like I said, you guys went to like a reader or you listen to reading and whatever this is it's like you want to believe it and you don't or you believe it and it's gonna like give you some relief and kind of free you from the situation in a way to where like you know how you want to move forward with the eight of swords reverse yep see two of wands this reading is going to help you make a decision but i feel like whoever this was whoever you guys went to the reader whatever the case may be it's the six of wands they were steering you in the right direction with the two of wands and the six of wands so it wasn't that it was like a bad reading or they were lying or what they were saying is not true. It's all about your, it's all about you accepting what has been said or told. I hope I'm not losing you guys. Okay. Because whatever you got the reading on or whoever you got the reading on, you may have asked a question like, oh, are they going to come back? And the person could have been like, yeah, they're going to come back. But when they do, it's going to be this, this, and that. And that's what you probably didn't want to believe or trust, okay, when it, when it comes to this situation. But now the high priestess is here, and your intuition is telling you to trust how you feel, trust what you see. If this person is coming back, pay attention, okay? Just pay attention, guys. All right, um, let's see how the Eight of Swords is coming up in reverse. Why the Eight of Swords in reverse? Why the Eight of Swords in reverse? The Four of Wands. And we have the Page of Pentacles. Some of you guys are expecting an offer. That could be what this is about. You guys are expecting some type of offer. You're expecting this person to come back and do right by you and make an offer to you. That's what you do want. Um, they could have told you that new love was coming in or that you were going to get attention from new love. And that new love could be from the per the same person from the past, or that's what you were wanting love from the like you know love with um, new love with the same person from the past. But this offer that's coming in is with a page of pentacles. It is very small. I don't find this going to be a solid, stable offer. I don't find this is the offer that you were expecting. So let's see. I didn't mean what I said, and then some part of me knew. All right, so look, some part of me knew. I feel like that's you. I feel like some part of you knew what was going to happen and we have i didn't mean when i what i said so let's see what they said let's see what they said what did this person say i didn't mean what i said i didn't mean what i said let's see wow the higher font ain't this some bullshit ain't this some bullshit the higher fonts here at the seven of cups, they are, they're confused. They're not ready to commit still. They're not ready. The higher fonts here with the seven of, in the seven of cups, in the seven of cups is here.
maybe this is why you guys are going to get a reading or you want to get a reading because you want to know if it's going to really play out the way the person is saying it is going to play out. Like, you know, maybe they told you something and you're like, okay, let me, you know, get a reading. Let's see if they're telling the truth. They're still confused about the commitment. They're still comp confused about a committed relationship or committing to you. The Ten of Wands is in reverse with the Hermit. Let this go. Release that burden. Drop their ass. For some of you guys. I'm just going to say it up front and honest like that. Drop them. Let it go. Okay. Um, They're going to keep lying to you. Even though the King of Swords is in the upright, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they want to commit to you in some type of way, but you're in reverse. But the Magician, they want to get their way in this situation. They're not ready to commit. Even if it's not a third party, they're just not ready to commit. They, they want to be single. They're not ready to go into a serious relationship. And they could be leading you on. Are they? Well, they are leading you guys on. And that's why I said, I didn't mean what I said. So let's see what this, inner, let's put some energy on the higher font and the seven of cups. Because there is a lot of confusion here. And you guys could have been waiting for them to make this decision. You guys could have been waiting. Let's see, why is the higher font here with the seven of cups? Wow. 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 So tell them to kick rocks, pretty much. I wish you love and happiness. So this person is going to tell you, like, I wish you love and happiness. I'm, I'm not ready to commit. I'm not ready to settle down. Or you want love and happiness with this person, but they're not ready. That's all we have. I didn't, I didn't mean what I said. But even if I was to look at it the other way, and you guys were in a committed relationship or they told you that, there's still confusion behind it. You're still seeing something with rose-colored glasses. Like, there's, they still have you thinking or believing something is going to happen. So, yes. They're going to tell you, you, like, at the bottom, you are beautiful. Please take care of yourself. I know this isn't fair. So they're going to play that, oh, you're beautiful, like, I would love to be with you, blah, blah, motherfucking blah. But they're going to be like, you know, like, do you, I wish you love and happiness, I'm just, I can't give you a relationship or a commitment right now. I know this isn't fair. And then we have, I realize how much I hurt you. So this person knows that they're like, that they know this is hurtful. They know that it's it's bothering you. They know that it's, they know this is some bullshit. Okay? So. I, I just, I'm shocked with this right here. Um, I wish you love and happiness. Wow, look what flipped over. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. They're not ready. They're not ready for a relationship. They're not ready for a commitment. And some of you guys have been dealing with this person for about a year. And you're like, where is this going? Where do I stand? It's been a year. Like, are we, like, what's going on? Are we moving forward or what? I know this isn't fair. I know this isn't fair. I know this isn't fair. The Emperor, Four of Swords. For some of you guys, they already have another relationship. They're already committed to someone. And they have to walk away from this. They have to let it go. You guys could have been messing around each other for, for like the past year. And this person is just like, I can't like do this anymore. We, we can't be in this situation anymore. Or they thought they were going to leave someone and they're not. And... This is them, like, you know, coming back around, telling you or telling you. And this will be you guys kind of, like, separating or them falling back. This emperor with the four of swords. That's what this is about. For some of you, they're committing to someone else. And they don't want to tell you that. That's what the problem is, too. If they're not already in a committed relationship... They had kept their options open. They were talking to other people. And they are choosing to be with someone else. 
Mm -hmm. We have, please take care of yourself and you are beautiful. So let's see what this is about. Please take care of yourself and you are beautiful. The death card reverse and the star reverse. They'll be back around, but it's not worth it with the star reverse. It's not. It's not going to be the same anymore. It's time for you guys to free yourself from this betrayal, the hurt, the pain, everything. Let go. Some of you guys have fear of letting go. The universe is saying, like, let go. Because you are beautiful and you deserve better than this. And with the death card reverse, you kept letting this person come back into your life. It could have been a Scorpio or an Aquarius. But with the star, it's just telling me, like, there's some healing that needs to be done. Like, you need to heal from the hurt and pain that you endured in this relationship. Or when they come back around and, you know, tell you, like, what's going on, you're really, I'm not going to say you're just losing hope and faith, but you just, you no longer see it as a wish come true for you. Like, you just no longer see it as, like, you don't see it the same. You don't. You don't see this situation the same anymore. And with that ten of swords reverse, you're finally going to release yourself from this this energy. So let's see how the death card is in reverse of the star reverse. And whoever they're with or whoever they're going to choose to be with, I me mean, not to say like this, but it's better them than you. Okay? Because all they're going to do is just do the same shit probably to them or just be on some bullshit, you know? Let's see death card reverse, star reverse. Wow. Fucking Wow. Wow. You guys know I don't sugarcoat. You know, I'm not going to lie. Okay? You know, I'm going to keep it 100. They committed to someone else. For some of you. Okay? Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups. And this can tell me that they went back to someone. Someone that they had strong feelings for. That they were still in love with. Cared about. And they thought that situation was overdone. They thought there was no more of that situation. You guys could have also met someone that was separated or going through a separation. And then they're deciding to stay with that person. They all of a sudden love their family situation again and want to work it out. Ace of Pentacles is here. We have it with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay. So there was a separation, a setback, a delay. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse tw twice. So that person hurt both, you, both of you. And we have it in the, with the Two of Cups in reverse. This is some type of imbalance. All right, a breakup, a separation within a soulmate connection or just in some type of relationship. And we have with the emperor again, with his lion ass. So that's what it looks like. And they were just on some bullshit and they could have told you the truth. Carter, come here. They could have just told you the truth, you know, and just. Where's your shirt and your shoes? Outside. Now. Okay. I'm not playing. Sorry, guys. Yeah, so. They should have just kept it 100. They should have. So they're either committing to someone else or they are um, staying in their situation. And that's how I feel like whatever, remember I told you like your intuition was already telling you something, but you guys were ignoring something. That's why I said, I don't know if it's like you pull your own cards. I don't know if you guys got a reading. I don't know if you guys just heard like a reading. I don't know if you went to someone, they try to tell you, they try to warn you, your higher self tried to too. Um, so, I mean, that's why I said never ignore your intuition. Never, never, never. All right, um, let's pull a couple more cards and see what we got. Because this is pretty much the reading. It's pretty much just saying, like, someone is going to come back around. Someone is going to, you know, there is going to be a reconciliation. But it's not going to be the reconciliation that you're looking for, that you're wanting. That That's not what you're going to, like, that's not the reconciliation. You know, so let's even go on to this King of Cups with this Ten of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here with this Ten of Cups? Why is the King of Cups here with the Ten of Cups? Eight of Cups reverse. I told you they're going back to a situation. Eight of Cups reverse. With the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. For some of you, they're going back to the person that they separated from. And here goes the King of Pentacles in reverse. And here goes that, that rope situation from the other day. 
Queen of Pentacles reverse and a King of Pentacles reverse. So let them just be nasty and try things together. Okay. A roach for a roach. I don't know. Um, I don't even think this situation is going to last long. Ace of Cups in reverse. The Chariot. And the Hey Man. They're going to soon see that that's not what they want. But that's the decision that they're making. So that's on them. That's their fault. That's their problem. Not you guys'. Okay? And I don't want you guys over there hurting and and being upset and mad and feeling like it's your fault because it's not. These, these uh, king and queen of pentacles reverse, I'm not saying they belong together, but they're in the same energy. This person doesn't deserve your, ener like your energy. They don't deserve you. Why is this um, queen of pentacles reverse? Why is this queen of pentacles reverse? The hermit. Yep, this is the person they were in separation with. Queen of wands reverse. They met you. Told you that they wanted to be with you they were going to walk away or they told you they wanted to be with you that they were miserable they weren't happy in their situation it's over it's done we have eight of wands and the chariot yep see look i want to move forward with you eight of wands with the chariot ace of swords reverse they were lying though or maybe they just weren't sure ace of swords reverse can be someone that's sure like that's not sure um they they weren't sure what they wanted to do or if they were going to do it. But at the time that you guys got together and hooked up and were together, it felt right. It felt like that's what they wanted to do. Let's see how the Eight of uh, Cups is coming up in reverse. Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse? Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse? The Towers in reverse. And the Two of Pentacles. See? They changed your mind all of a sudden. Part of them was still holding on to this other situation. And Two of Pentacles. They start juggling the relationship. So I feel like... Even when you guys were talking, they were telling you that they were going to leave. They were kind of like texting them, sliding in their DM, trying to get back with them, trying to work it out, trying to hold on to this queen of pentacles in reverse that they dogged out and said that they didn't want to be with or talk to anymore, that they were going to leave and all that type of stuff. So they were still trying to work that out. They were still holding on to that situation. For some of you guys, it could have been due to children because we have the ten of cups here. There's two kids here. Going to the king of pentacles in reverse. Why is the king of pentacles in reverse? We have it with temperance. Yep, they went back. To, they went back and reconciled the relationship with the strength card, and we have it with the ace of cups in reverse. Wow. So, like I told you guys before, and the devil's here. Let them sit in their karma. Okay. Let them, you know, live their ha happily ever after with their roach. I don't know. I just feel like because this is telling me like they reconnected with this person, and right now they like they're getting along. Things have been good so far. They're getting along. Things have been good. But Ace of Cups reverse. Maybe they're recovering from a breakup. Maybe they feel obligated because they know that they broke this person's heart. But I mean, they broke your heart too. So what the fuck? You know? So I don't. It's like with the Ace of Cups reverse and the devil, it's codependency. They know that this person is emotionally attached to them. They know that this person is. <sighs> Gonna pretty much give them what they want. With the high priestess reverse with the devil. So whoever they're dealing with, they're not smart, they're not intuitive. They're addicted to your person in a way that's unhealthy. So this King of Pentacles can just they kind of feel like they can do what they want in this situation. But that doesn't that's not telling me that's why they went back. I'm just telling you what I'm getting with these cards. So, I mean, as to why they went back, we don't know. Why is the emperor here with the four of swords? Seven of pentacles. They did think about it. They took some time. They thought about it. They battled it with the seven of pentacles and the five of wands. But if they are already in a committed relationship or had a family or children, like I said, they felt like that was the best thing to do. Um, let's see why they're going back. And then I guess we can wrap it up for today. Why are they going back? 
Why is this person going back? Why is this person going back? We have the Five of Swords reverse, the Higher Font reverse, Nine of Wands reverse, Knight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Because, like I told you, this person is attached to them in an unhealthy way, and they know that they can lie, cheat, be deceitful. They can do whatever they want. They can get away with things in our relationship. They can manipulate that person in any type of way. They know if they go back to that person, that person is going to hear them out and not give them a hard time. See, look. And then for some of you, the reason why they're, the reason why they're moving away from the situation is that they are, like I said, they're in a committed relationship. And as soon as you start talking about commitment or becoming serious, they were like, uh-uh, I got to get on. I have to, like, cut this off. Because they were only looking for an open relationship. They weren't looking for anything serious. But it became serious. And it was more than open. Let's see how the higher fonts coming up in reverse. Why is the higher fountain reverse? And this other, like the other person, even though they're tired, they're drained and fed up with whoever they're dealing with, this person is still going to just give in. All right, so let's see how the higher fonts reverse. Justice. Again, see? So for some of you guys, they were in a committed relationship or married or there's some type of commitment. Um... For others of you, like I said, they didn't want anything serious. They didn't want any type of commitment, but it became serious between you guys. And they felt like they needed to cut it off because they knew they couldn't give you a serious relationship or commit to you. We have the Knight of Cups. Yeah. They did fall for you. For some of you guys, it could have been like love at first sight or they were like really attracted to you or they like... They, I feel like they could have like fell in love with you first, not of wands. Yeah, they kept coming back. They were the ones that were like obsessed and kind of attached to you. And you have the death card. They kept telling themselves that they got to cut it off. They got to stop. They got to cut it off. They got to stop. But they couldn't. And now they finally are. And that could be why you haven't talked to them, why they haven't came around. Like I said, you will hear from this person, though, or this is what's playing out or going on. Knight of Pentacles is here. Let's see. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Going to the Knight of Pentacles. Will of Fortune reverse? And some of you guys have been waiting a while. But with the Will of Fortune reverse, like, it took you some time to let, like, you know, like, to let this go and move on from them. Or it's telling, like, it took some time for them to come back around. But they're coming back around on some childish, petty, immature-ass bullshit. They're not making an offer. They may apologize. May. Page of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they might apologize to you. But I'm just going to leave it here because I just feel like, like I told you before, I would just tell them to just kick rocks and just bite by. Just trust your intuition, y'all. Okay, um, seriously. And maybe this energy is coming back with the retrograde so you guys can finally let this person go or let this shit go. All right, so um, let's see what this um, Justice and Seven of Swords is about. Why is Justice here with the Seven of Swords? I should have said what I didn't say. I should have said what I didn't say. Yeah, because they got caught up now. It makes more. They got caught up. See? So, what it's telling me is that with this energy right here, 
they should have like been clear from day one. They should have been honest from day one. And they didn't say all of this in the beginning. They didn't say that in the beginning. And now they re like they regret it. And they got away with it for so long and they were getting away with it. And now it's like they're finally coming towards you and telling you this. And let's see. One more message. I wasn't thinking. And it says, I was wrong and I am sorry. Let me see something. And what's this right here? Yeah, I would just end it, guys. You know? Well, I can't tell you guys what to do, but we have, you will get through this. And that's what they're, like, telling you. Or maybe you could be telling them, like, you know what? Like, fuck you. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to move on. Because you have the five of swords, eight of cups reverse, four of cups reverse. That's you telling them, like, there's no coming back. I'm done. It's over. You're not going to, you know, keep lying to me. Like, because this is mine, fucker. You're like, you're not going to play mind games. Keep lying to me. Playing bull, like, you know, like, bullshitting me, playing games, stuff like that. So maybe you're communicating then, to like, you know, like, I'll get through this, like, you know, like, bye, like, I don't need you, you know, it is what it is, but always trust your intuition, guys. Always trust your intuition. Always. 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 Always do. Always trust your intuition, guys. All right, let's see. Let's pull a couple energy oracle messages. Spirit, what's the overall energy for this reading? We have, look, see hostilities. Woman holding a heart because your heart was open to this connection. Your heart was open to them. And they're coming with hostilities, meaning like they're coming with drama, conflict, bullshit. They're coming with all of this shit. Okay? And your heart was open to this new beginning for some of you guys. or this was open to them in general. And then we have envy. Okay? Not sure why envy is here. Because I don't feel like you guys, well, some of you guys may feel envious over the fact that they chose someone else over you or that they're going to stay in their committed relationship and stay with that person over you. So it might not be that you guys are envious, but it's like you're hurt because you thought that this was going to lead to a committed relationship. So if you guys do feel envious or jealous or hurt, that's normal. Okay. Um, because who wants to experience this or go through this or feel like this? So it's normal. Let's see. Why is envy here? Why is envy here? The two of swords is here. Yeah. So I told you it's normal. Okay. And then some of you guys are going to even find out that someone is pregnant in this situation because the empress is pregnant. Okay. But if not, it could be the fact that they, you know, like I said, they are with someone. And envy is here at the two of swords reverse. So the lies are being exposed. The truth is out. All right, and now you see why they were like overly cautious and, you know, they were being slick and maybe hiding their phone or keeping certain things from you. Uh-oh. So like I said, it's, it's normal if you feel that way. But, yep, yeah, because we have... Men holding a coin. You thought they were coming in with a commitment. We have blossoming abundance. So I feel like you wanted to see the abundance in this relationship come together. Like you, you feel like this was going to, you know, like you wanted abundance in this relationship. All right. Or you were like, oh, like you felt abundant with this person. But I do see that you guys do have a broken heart. 
And I feel like with this woman holding a heart, and once you guys do come out of this energy and allow yourselves to heal, then you will have abundance with someone new. Why is a woman holding a heart here? Six of Swords reverse. And we have the Three of Pentacles. You didn't sense that trouble. Like, you didn't sense that this was coming. You thought that they were coming towards you to, you know, talk about a relationship, to work on the relationship. The fool is in reverse. And some of you guys can just kind of be hurt because you're like, why did I even, like, fall for it? Like, why did, I, why did I even trust them? Because the two of pentacles is here. They juggled you before. You gave, like, um, you risked it before. You know, like, you took a risk before and jumped into it. But this time, you thought it was going to be different. Let's see why Broken Heart is here. Why is broken heart here? And number nine is here because of the back and forth on and off. Because they juggled you. Because they lied. Because they played games with the two of pentacles. Because of all the ups and downs in the relationship. But you're going to move on from that. You're coming. I'm not going to say you're coming out of heartbreak. But you guys will soon be in a better place emotionally. All right. And then we have man holding a coin. Let's see why the man is holding a coin. Man holding a coin. We have the two of wands reverse and we have the ten of cups. This is them, but you're moving on to better things too, okay? And they're going to be watching you from afar. They're going to be spying on you with the page of swords. Trying to figure out, you know, like what you're doing, what you're up to. But you're going to make a decision to move on from this or... Some of you guys are just going to like move on from this. And I do see new love and happiness in for you. So don't think that you're not going to get justice out of this. You will. To a wandering verse is like you're not moving forward in this situation anymore. But going towards your ten of cups with the will of fortune. Something like big coming in for you. In the matters of love. Okay. So it's like I wouldn't even. I'm not going to say sweat it. But it's like you're going to get justice. You're going to get your ten of cups. You're going to get your happiness. And they're going to watch and see you move on. But this other person is going to be better. There's not going to be like deceit and stuff like that. In that relationship, it's not going to be like no third party. They're not going to be on no bullshit and no games and leading you on. Because whoever this was, they were on some bullshit. All right. So um, let's see why the uh, two of wands is coming up in reverse. Nine of pentacles. Yep, you guys are choosing to be single. And you're going to take your time and move on. And new love is coming in. You guys are going to call judgment on the situation. If you haven't already. And some of you guys are attracting and calling in your emperor. And you have it with the queen of pentacles. So like I said, you guys will have new love, a commitment, and something stable come in for you as well. Okay? So. Again. Tell them to kick rocks. Alright? Alright. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. That is a reading. If I resonate with you guys, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so that you guys are notified when I do upload content. If you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. I love you all. And I'll see you guys in the next reading. Bye, loves.